hello hello welcome to mommy t and v youtube channel if you are new here in my channel you are welcome always welcome to this platform for my old and my new subscribers you guys are amazing thank you thank you thank you thank you for always being there for mommy t and v thank you for your support please keep on supporting mommy t and v thank you thank you thank you always share my video with friends and family god bless you as you do so our topic in this video is past experience past experience why can't we leave our past experience behind us and think on the new take another step of a new life our past experience can cause emotional trauma in our life. Why can't we, why can't we left it behind us and focus on the new life and think about the new life our God is preparing for us? Let let your past experience behind you and move forward in life. Your past experience can cause you emotional trauma. What are those past experiences? It can be disappointment. It can be uh, child abuse. It can be fair relationship. It can be something terrible have happened to you in the past. Why can't you let it behind you? And move forward. And take a new step. Take a new step of a new life. Don't allow your past experience to delay you in life. Your past experience can it can cause delay delay in your life. Your past experience can cause delay of marriage. Can cause delay of any name it. If you don't let it go, it can cause emotional trauma. Your past experience is past experience. Just let it go and move forward in life and take a new step of, of a new life. How can we stop this past experience? How can you let go of this past experience? It's by giving your life to Jesus. When you begin to listen to the word of God and begin to relate to God, you will begin to let the past experience behind you. I know sometimes it's very, very difficult to, to, to let go of our past experience. When you leave your past experience behind you, you will not think about it anymore. It's good to know God so that you can be able to forget about your past experience. You won't think about it. Just take your Bible and begin to study. That is the only thing that can stop that uh, emotional trauma of your past experience. We all have past experience. Let us let go of our past experience. It can be child uh, abuse. It can be uh, a fair, a fair relationship. It can be uh, disappointment. Maybe someone you trust in life, and you know you trust that person, and that person at the end it disappointed you. Let just let go of it and move forward. It doesn't mean that one person have disappoint you and everybody is the same. Sometimes it causes delay. You can see some uh, some ladies they are they are not yet married when you ask them they will just tell you that i've experienced it before i don't want to experience it anymore i am scared i love this man so much at the end he disappointed me and everybody have his own story the other one will explain it, uh, when i was a child look at what happened to me because of that i am i, I am afraid to get close to 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 people because i don't want them to hurt me it doesn't mean everybody is is like that 
let us leave our past experience behind us and let's move forward that is why you see some people because of their past experience they be, they, they, they will begin to have a emotional a, a trauma because of their past experience because of what have happened to them in the past let us leave our past experience behind us how can we leave it behind us is by getting close to god and study your bible you begin to forget those past experiences it will not come to, you will not even remember it anymore all you need to, all you will be thinking about is how to study the word of god when you look at the book of Isaiah 43 verse 18, it says in that verse, Isaiah 43 verse 18, it says, remember not the former things, not consider the things of old. Isaiah 43 verse 18. Make us to understand. He said, remember not the former things and not consider the things of old. That is why if you know you have, if, if you know you have past experience and emotional trauma and you need God, you need God, you need to study the word of God. Is the only word of God that will take you out from that past experience. Is the only word of God that will take you out from that emotional trauma. It's only the word of God that we encourage you. It's only the word of God that we encourage you. Whatsoever you are passing through, whatsoever that is your past experience, that is causing emotional trauma in your life, is the word of God you need. The word of God is the only solution. Nobody will come out and say, I don't have past. Everybody has past experience. It may be uh, domestic violence. It may be uh, uh, child abuse. It may be... Um, it may be fair relationship and disappointment with friends and all that. What you need is the word of God. It's only the word of God you will study that will, that will bring you out from that past experience. It's the only the word of God that, you will, that, that, you, that will take you out from that emotional trauma. When you look at the book of Psalm 147, Psalm 147 verse 3, it says, it said in this, it said, he, Psalm 147 uh, verse 3, it says, he, he healed the broken hearted and bind up their wounds. It's the only God that will heal the broken hearted. It's only God that we hear that pain. It's only God, your God Almighty, that we hear that pain that is causing emotional trauma in your life. It's only God. Nobody will come and heal it for you. It's only the word of God that we hear that pain. It's only the word of God that will hear your past experience. Is it child abuse? Is it domestic violence? Is it a, a, a fair, fair relationship? Is it disappointment that is coming from uh, with coming from your friends? That that is your past. What is that thing that is causing emotional trauma in your life? It's only God that will heal that broken hearted. It's only God that will heal that your wound. 
that wound that is causing you emotional trauma is only God. It's only God. You need the word of God. The word of God is a healer. The word of God will heal your, your broken hearted. The word of God will heal that wound. It's the word of God. It's the word of God you need. It's the word of God you need. Don't wait for anyone to come and to come and hear you. Carry your Bible and begin to go through it. Use it to pray. Use it to pray. Use that Psalm forty-three verse eighteen. Use that uh, uh, Isaiah. Uh, no, sorry, Isaiah forty-three verse eighteen. And you, you also use one, uh, Psalm 147, verse 3. God is the only one that will heal the pain. God is the only one that will heal your pain. Are you passing through emotional trauma? Are you taking about your past? That you will not let go of your past experience? Are you seeking for help? The help you need is the word of God. The help you need is inside the Bible. This is the help you need. The Holy Bible. The word inside will heal he your pain. And will heal your broken hearted. What is your past experience that is making your heart so heavy? You need the word of God. The word of God is the holy solution. The word of God is the one that will take you heart from your past experience. You need Jesus. You need the word of God to help you overcome your past experience. Is the word of God. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Thank you for stopping by. Please, if you have not subscribed to Mommy T and V YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Join the family. Let's do it together. Mommy T and V is ready to learn. Share this video with your friends. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you on my next one. Bye.